Hello and welcome. So as promised in my BoxyCharm review, I am going to do the Dermavia Lace -a Pill, the Black Bamboo Charcoal Pill Off Mask. So this is a lace mask. I'm going to read the back of the package just so that we can both understand what's going on here. So it says Lace -a Pill Bamboo Charcoal uses a naturally blended pill paste formulated with bamboo, charcoal, aloe vera, and chamomile in conjunction with a compression lace mask to support the pill process and instantly turn dull complexion into radiant skin. I can use that for sure. So compression, luxur luxurious stretch lace compresses for greater adhesion, resulting in intensive deep skin detoxification. Key ingredients, bamboo charcoal detoxifies, aloe vera purifies, chamomile soothes. So step one, cleanse and dry face. I literally just got out of the shower, wet hair and all. So, I'm oh. gonna go ahead and take this out of the package. I haven't even opened it up and looked at it yet. It comes with a little tube of the black bamboo charcoal peel off mask. So I have done some of the black masks and historically they've been really painful. So I am hoping that this has some kind of magic to it that means that it is not painful. And is this, is this supposed to be, and this is, this is a lot. This is 20 mils. I'm just wondering if this is supposed to be like a one-time use, if I'm supposed to wash it and reuse the lace. I don't know. I guess I'll figure that out later. There's a coupon code on the back of here if when I'm done with this you're interested and you don't have to be a BoxyCharm subscriber to use the codes that it comes with. So the 25% off code it's B like boy X like xylophone Y like yellow 25 for 25% 25 off at dermovia.com. I'll see if I can get that to it's right down here. I will try to remember to put it in the description as well. I I am forgetful, so I'm not gonna make any promises, which is why I am saying it now. So it says to apply an even layer of peel paste to targeted areas. Avoid eye area, eyebrows, hairline, and lips. Which means that we can assume that this is going to rip all my hair out. I don't have much of a scent to it so far. Let's So it's just like a black gel. I do have a lot of blackheads going on around my nose and I've been wearing just a lot of makeup recently. Also, I think that some combination or one of the um, foundations I've been wearing I know that it's not the Do You or the Peach Perfect because those are my regular foundations, but something that I've been wearing has definitely been causing me to have some issues with breakouts. Like I've definitely got some breakouts going on down here. I have one here. And for somebody who has a lot of breakouts or has issues like acne prone skin it probably doesn't seem like much but I really don't tend to have much acne at all so 
when I do, it's pretty easy for me to identify that there's a problem. Oh, that's weird. There's, I, like I kind of shook it up before I used it, but the last one that came out, I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. Let's see if I can get this. It's like separated a little bit. So there's like a clear bit. So I'm guessing that's just like where the charcoal isn't as mixed in to the gel. <clears throat> so while I'm doing this, since this is probably not the world's most exciting thing to watch, just me making my face at the moment kind of look like I've been rolling around underneath a car. Um, I had a really exciting thing happen today. Very interesting thing. I, so I've had my channel for a very short amount of time and I mostly just figured that the only people who watched it were people who knew me either directly or indirectly. Um, like either they know me in real life or they know me in some way. So I was in Target, just, I was walking around looking at the Halloween stuff. I don't even remember what I went to Target for. Oh, I do remember what I went to Target for. I bought a curtain to use as a backdrop, which I clearly forgot about by the time I got home. Um, I just, I needed to get out of the house today. So I went to Ulta and spent too much money and went and walked around TJ Maxx and then went to Target. So anyway, I was in Target and there was a woman who came up to me and said, just so you know, I've seen your videos. And it was so cool. And also, if you're watching this, I'm sorry that I, I have social anxiety. So it was really awesome, you made my day. But because I have social anxiety, my immediate reaction was to not have any idea what to say and act kind of weird and clam up and then just stand there smiling. Like a creep. Um, so if you are watching this, if you do watch more videos, you should definitely comment down below. I would love to hear from you. And just so you know, you really did make my day. I was having kind of a difficult day and decided to get out of the house to try and make it better and that totally helped. So thank you. Like it was just exciting to know that somebody is actually watching this and that I'm not just recording videos for myself. Um, Okay, so apply an even layer of pill paste to target areas, did that. Line up holes with eyes, nose, and mouth. So here's where the lace comes in. So, like the one time I don't have a makeup wipe and I have this stuff all over my hand. Ugh, I have a feeling this is gonna dry before I get this on here. Um, okay, this is, this is weird. All right, so, oh, no, stay up there. Okay, so push that against there. And then it has like holes for the ears. This is in interesting. This is an interesting thing going on here. Okay. And then what is this? What What is this? All right, place ear slits securely. Oh, this, this goes up around here for compression of the chin. If I had known I was gonna be compressing my chin, if I'd realized that it was all just part of this mask, I would have put some kind of cream or something on there. I. I look, I look crazy. Okay. I also don't feel like this is gonna help all that much with lifting this off. All right, so how long does it say? Uh, 
Wear the mask for 15 to 20 minutes until dry. Gently peel off the mask in downward motion. Rinse any residue with warm water. Okay. So I'm just gonna leave this, this weirdness here. It's like, it definitely adheres to the, the mask. So once it's on there, if you got one of these or if you get one of these, once it's on there, you can't really adjust it. Set a timer for 15 minutes. And once 15 minutes is up, I'll go ahead and peel this off. Okay, so it's been closer to like 20 minutes because I was getting my last video posted while I was waiting for this. So I will say it's definitely like tight through here. So we're just gonna pull it off and see what happens. take these off of the ears. Seems like a good first step. Oh, it's caught on my earrings. Alrighty. So it's definitely coming off much easier than I was prepared for. It literally feels like glue though. Oh, on the cheeks is a little more painful. Oh, oh, ow, ow. Okay. So if you've done other black masks, ow, ow. I know it says to pull it down, but it hurts to pull it down. Ew. Okay, if you do this, definitely stay to like the oilier parts of your face. Ow. Okay. So it is literally like glue. Um, trying to see if I can see any like little blackheads. Oh. I definitely can. So I don't know whether or not you'll be able to see them on my camera. I don't know why people like to see this gross stuff, but they do. And I'm sometimes one of those people. So let's see if we can get it. To... So it did definitely get, I don't know how well you can see that on camera. Probably not really at all, but it did definitely get the blackheads out like around my nose and the middle of my forehead and then it also like the little areas out here on my cheeks this I now I look worse as far as like looking like a crazy person than I did before but out here it also peeled up any of my like little baby hairs that I had. So I'm surprised I have a lot of baby hairs right here on this cheek. I'm surprised it didn't pull more of those out. I have a mirror right in front of me in case you're wondering what all the leaning forward is about. I'm just trying to see if I can see where like it took out. Yeah, I still have a lot of blackheads. So it took some, not as many as I would have liked. I have relatively small pores on, like I have pretty large pores through here. The pores on my nose are relatively small, which for something like this is sort of annoying because it means that the blackheads don't wanna come out because my pores are all closed off, so. It did come with two masks, like two of the lace things. So I have another one. So I will definitely try it again. <clears throat> I don't know that, like, I don't even know what I would do different other than just not putting it as far out on my cheeks. 
it's something that's like fun to do, but I don't know that it was any more effective than like a BRA pore strip. Um, so it's up to you whether you want to try something like this or not. Um, like I said, I'll try to remember to put the discount code down on the bottom. I'm going to go wipe this stuff off of my face because it's gross and I need moisture. So I'm going to go get this stuff off and moisturize and then come back and do my makeup. Um, if you haven't seen the video that I did for the swatches for the gingerbread palette. I definitely um, would appreciate if you watched it just in general because it's nice to have people watch my videos. But there is a part in there where something interesting happened in the filming and it's something that I will probably be talking about in other videos and it's not going to make any sense when I'm talking about it if you haven't watched that video. You don't need to watch the whole video. Um, I just barely posted the video so I will see if my memory can last me from here to the living room and I will go put a timestamp on there for where the little paranormal part is at and there's no point in me trying to be secretive about that because I put it right in the title. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like this dried my skin out. So I guess if you have oily skin, maybe this is a good one for you. I don't know. Um, anyway, I thank you for hanging out, watching this bizarre video. Um, I do still have the masks that I got from Ulta with this headband actually that are the like it's like kitten karma I think or cosmic kitten. They're in this room somewhere. I don't know. They're somewhere nearby. Um, they're probably in a drawer somewhere but I am gonna also do those on here. Obviously not all at the same time because doing three masks back to back is a little bit of overkill. But if you liked this, let me know. If you didn't like this, also let me know and I'll just do those masks on my own separately. Anyway, I'm gonna go wash my face now because it's gross. Thank you for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening wherever you're at. Bye. Thank you.